हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अ न्यू ब्लॉग ऑल द वे फ्रॉम यूरोप सो दिस इज़ अ फर्स्ट टाइम एक्सप्लोरिंग द स्मॉल बट ब्यूटिफुल कॉन्टिनेंट एंड वी आर गुनो बी हेयर फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेवेंटीन डेज एंड द वेरी फर्स्ट कंट्री दैट वी आर गुनो बी एक्सप्लोरिंग फॉर सिक्स डेज इज ऑस्ट्रिया सो ऑस्ट्रिया इज पार्ट ऑफ द ई यू द यूरोपियन यूनियन एंड ऑल्सो पार्ट ऑफ द शेंगन वीजा लिस्ट ऑफ कंट्रीज एंड वी अप्लाइड फॉर अ शेंगन वीजा थ्रू ऑस्ट्रिया एंड वी एक्चुअली गॉड इट इन लाइक टेन टू विद इन टेन डेज Uh, we got a multiple entry Schengen visa valid for three months from Austria. Uh, multiple entry because we are also going to go to other Schengen countries after finishing our trip here in Austria, so that will help us. The months of September and October are actually known as shoulder season here in Europe because that's when the weather is at its best. You won't find a lot of crowd. It was a long journey, and we landed in Vienna, which is also the capital of Austria and also its biggest city, at around 1:20 p.m. yesterday. But this is not Vienna because Vienna is not our first destination in Austria. Our first destination is Salzburg, which is where we are today on 24th of September. So the most easiest, the most convenient, and the cheapest way to come to Salzburg from Vienna Airport is to take the train, which is what we did. So we had done an online booking for the OEBB connection, which will take us from Vienna Airport to Salzburg uh, Central Station. So the river that you see behind me that's the river Salzach and the city of Salzburg is lo located on the banks of this river Salzach and all the attractions are located close to this river either on that side of the river or on this side of the river It's day one in Austria, and we are out to explore the very first city, which is Salzburg. So we have one full day to explore the city. Salzburg is a really uh, compact and a uh, small city, so you can easily explore all the attractions in a day. So let's see what all we are going to cover today. Salzburg is very famous for two things. So the very first thing is the movie Sound of Music. Honestly, I haven't seen that music, but I know it's a pretty iconic movie. And the Sound of Music movie was shot here in Salzburg. The second one is the legendary and the very famous music composer Mozart was born here in Salzburg. He was born here in Salzburg, and he lived for quite a few years with his family here in Salzburg. and that's why he's also known as the son of salzburg so when you are exploring salzburg you will see that somehow a lot of attractions are related to either mozart or sound of music which brings us to the very first attraction of the day which is the mirabel palace which you see right behind me so this is the mirabel palace and the mirabel garden and this is famous because the iconic song do re mi from the movie sound of music was shot in this garden most of the walking tours that happen in the city they start from mirabel palace and end at mirabel palace so this is our first stop for the day the mirabel palace and the mirabel garden
attraction which was Mirabel Palace like I said it's famous because of sound of music now the second attraction for which we just had to like cross the street from Mirabel Palace is known as the Mozart house because this is where the famous composer lived over there is the Mirabel Palace so we just had to cross the street to reach here and this is Mozart house and you can see pictures so this is where the famous composer lived for a few years with his family attraction for today is this bridge and uh, Salzburg has its own version of the Love Lock Bridge. The original Love Lock Bridge is obviously I think in Paris but this bridge is also known as the Love Lock Bridge of Salzburg. So there's a small tradition that you can do when you come to this bridge. Get a lock-in key, write your and your partner's name on it and then just tie it on one of these uh, or wires and then make a wish and throw the key into the water it's supposed to bring good luck to you and your partner so we just did that over here but yeah this bridge is full of uh, such uh, locks and also dogs <laughs> around 21.9 euros for two cheeseburgers and one cold drink which is pretty great I guess so let's see how the two burgers taste like
we have our chicken club sandwich and the chicken burger. Both of them are quite yummy. <laughs> chicken burger, coffee yummy hai. and hopefully coffee filling bhi hoga. So twenty dollars me ek time ka lunch ho gaya. Sorry, twenty euros. I don't know why I keep saying dollars. Twenty euros me ek time ka lunch is done and obviously much needed coke or anything liquid. Yahan pe water also is so expensive. So unlimited Coke for four euros is the coolest thing. We are in the old part of Salzburg, old town of Salzburg, and a lot of other attractions are present in this area, and it's quite crowded as well. <laughs> so, what you see behind me, I'll show you later. It's the bell tower of uh, Salzburg. It's known as the old city bell tower, and that's the next attraction. That's just a minute of walking distance from the Mozart House. at this little cafe called the first cafe f u r s t cafe and uh, it's very famous for this little piece of chocolate which is known as which is again named after mozart and it's known as known as mozart kugel i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it right i'll name, write the name of the chocolate below and it's supposedly made of pistachio and it's covered with dark chocolate and this is the place where you get the authentic chocolate and this little piece this little piece of chocolate is for 1.6 euro so definitely if you are a chocolate lover like me definitely try this original mozart kugel from cafe first and right opposite to this cafe is also the oldest coffee house of austria and which is also mozart's favorite coffee house and he used to visit it in his days is cafe tomasili right in front of me
Salzburg Mozart and this statue is located in the central area of the old town which is where also the carnival is happening So the place where the carnival was happening it's called the residence plaza which is where a lot of uh, small attractions are placed right next to each other and like you saw it was super crowded uh, but uh, really good vibes from that place lot of things are happening now next we are going to go and see the salzburg cathedral and after that we'll go to the salzburg castle the hohen salzburg castle which will be the last stop for the day and then we'll be done with our salzburg sightseeing We are now going to Hohen Salzburg Castle. You can either walk to the castle, or you can take the funny killer ride up. It's a little steep walk, but it's manageable, I guess. And I think it will take us around 10 minutes to reach there. And the castle is supposed to give you an aerial aerial view of the entire Salzburg city. And it's around 5 p.m. now, so let's see how Salzburg looks from the top of the castle. We've almost reached the castle. The climb up is not very long, but it's quite steep. And uh, I think it's just been it's been less than ten minutes since we started the climb, but it's steep. <laughs> so that's the Hohen Salzburg Castle, and the speciality of this castle is this castle was never captured by foreign forces. This is one of the oldest intact fortresses in all of Europe and the cherry on the top is obviously the view that you get when you go all the way up to the castle we did not go inside but then while we were climbing up the stairs towards the castle there were a lot of good view points that gave us a view of the entire salzburg city and the alps so if you want to go up the castle you, you walk or you take the funny killer which okay you can't see it right now but hey wow thank you So we are at one of the oldest cafes of Salzburg, which is the Cafe Sascher Salzburg, and uh, we are here to try the iconic dessert of Salzburg, Sascher Tort. And this is the place which serves the original Sascher Tort. So there is this one cafe in Salzburg, and they have another cafe in Vienna. Both are called Cafe Sascher, and they have this very yummy chocolate dessert called Sascher. Sasha Tot So we just finished our Salzburg sightseeing that we had planned for the day and luckily we were able to cover almost everything that we wanted to and also we got to see the carnival that was happening in the old town today which was pretty cool and people were dressed people were dressed up in traditional attires which was really nice so now we are sitting at the bus stop and we are waiting for bus number 10 that will take us to the airport we have to pick up our rental car So yesterday our bus suddenly came so we had to rush to get into the bus but the entire process of renting the car from the airport was pretty smooth and we it just took some time to get comfortable while driving on the other side of the road hope you enjoyed watching this vlog with us and uh, exploring salzburg with us we were also lucky to catch the carnival yesterday and we found out on the internet that the carnival is called the saint rupert's carnival and it is one of the biggest cultural festival of austria so we were lucky to be in salzburg on the same day when the carnival was happening so all in all it was a great one day spent in salzburg so we are going to be ending the vlog uh, this vlog here itself 
It's already day two in Salz Salzburg, and we are ready to take a day trip to the countryside of Austria. Today, we are also going to visit one of the most beautiful, the or the most beautiful village of Austria, which is also known as the fairy tale village of Austria. So, all that we'll capture in the next vlog of our Europe travel series. Hope you enjoyed watching this vlog with us.